Meghan Markle always needed big-ticket Prince Harry to make her Hollywood dreams and aspiration come true. This allegation has been dropped by TV presenter Judy Finnegan, in her latest piece for Express UK. She was quoted saying, her PR people and lawyers had no doubt this minor actress in obscure cable TV drama suits, craved the big time. And if her acting wasn't quite good enough to make her a star, that she would seek fame by another route, philanthropy. Like her idols Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama, she'd be a feminist icon, a worldwide symbol of altruism. The problem was she didn't have a big enough platform to launch from. And then along came Harry. Meghan Markle's upcoming visit to the UK with Prince Harry and their young family will be bittersweet, it has been claimed. A royal source says the Queen's Balmoral invite to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is bittersweet for Meghan, because she fears time with his family will pull on his heartstrings. But the source said it will fuel her and Harry's confidence they are very much still part of the family. They claimed Meghan is concerned Prince Harry will be lured back to the firm following their sensational exit in 2020. They said the Duchess of Sussex doesn't doubt her husband's commitment to wanting to spend the rest of his life in the US, but she worries over how these types of visits can pull at his heartstrings due the Duke's homesickness. The Balmoral Insider told Closer magazine, it's a bittersweet invite for Meghan, because on one hand it fuels her and Harry's confidence that they are very much still part of the family. But after so much time away, she fears Harry will be lured back into the fold and want to return to the UK. Meghan doesn't doubt that Harry is committed to spending the rest of his life in America, but does have certain trepidation over how these types of visits can pull at his heartstrings. She's been aware of Harry's homesickness for some time, and she can see just how excited he is to show more of his heritage to their children, without the attention and security fears that surrounded them in London. It comes amid reports Meghan and Harry will attend the Scottish royal estate with their children Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1, later this year after receiving an invite from the Queen. The Sussexes currently live in the US after Meghan and Harry made the sensational decision to quit the firm in 2020 and move across the pond to live a life away from the public spotlight. They returned to the UK for the first time as a family in June to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. This was the first time the Queen, 96, met her granddaughter Lilibet in a private lunch away from photographers. The insider added, it goes without saying he wants to spend as much time with his grandmother while he still can. So this offer is a big deal to him and it's one he's going to take up with open arms. It'll be such a treat to spend precious time with the Queen, and Harry would love to enjoy a pint in a British pub and spend time with his family in the countryside. He's really missed it. Before meeting Harry, Markle struggled to distinguish herself in Hollywood. In her early days in the industry, she had trouble making ends meet. While other up-and-coming actors waited tables, Markle utilized another of her talents to make money, calligraphy. She told Esquire in 2013 that she provided calligraphy services for such lucrative clients as Robin Thicke and Dolce & Gabbana.